First of all, I thought that he was a robot. Then I realized he's Mr. Pancake Block. <laughs> is that a pancake block or is that a head spin? Right, my friends, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Yes, yes, it's true. I have a standing desk once more and it feels amazing. It feels absolutely incredible to be standing here able to, re to react to what I'm going to see in a more dynamic, you know, feel, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not camped in a chair. I can actually move around. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So with that being said, this is a remake. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't happen often, but it, it has to be done. You know, when you've, when you've got a series with a hundred videos in it and you're only going to have 97, that, that doesn't sit well with me and it, and it certainly doesn't sit well with you guys and I know it. So I have watched Quentin Nelson once before. That was the first time I'd ever seen him. He's a menace. He's, uh, he's Mr. Pancake Block, that's all I can remember. I can't remember how big he is. I feel like he's a little bit shorter than what I'd expected, but we're going to get into all of that shortly. This is the 29th best player in the NFL for last season, as voted by his peers. Let's have a look. <laughs> See, and uh, yeah, first of all, I thought that he was a robot. Then I realized he's Mr. Pancake Block. <laughs> is that a pancake block or is that a head spin? This is a terrible song. Why am I dancing? Kind of catchy though. How dominated would you feel by him if you just, <laughs> you're trying to get up, he's like, no, stay down. You're trying to, no, stay down. My name's Quentin Nelson. I don't know, man. That's pretty, that's. Hey, did you see Quentin Nelson? Bring a box punter with punting into him? Earlier in the day, he went over there and was going to try to kill him. One hit him and he went over there and he's like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> okay, I didn't actually see. I heard it last time, but I didn't see him actually go over to him. So what's he? One hit him and he went over and he's like, I'm going to kill you. And then he punted another one and Nelson punted it into his fans. Quentin Nelson is not. Yeah, he's probably going to. Look at it! Holy shit, that's a giant. That is a giant. I tend to think he'd be more famous as a punter at that size than an offensive lineman. Twenty-four. He is an absolute mauler, all right? How big is he? For some reason, I, I I remember thinking he was like six four, six five, but I was surprised that he was a little bit shorter at six two. Was I right? Absolutely not. He's six foot five, 330 pounds. He's an absolute monster. He was picked up in the first round of the 2018 draft by the Colts with pick number six. He is 24 years of age, as they said, and he's the youngest of four children. Um, he was noted to be a large baby at birth, uh, 10 pounds, 10 ounces, in fact, or 4.82 kg. That's a large baby. Played at Notre Dame, which is cool. At the, uh, the NFL draft, he was measured at 325 pounds, so effectively he's put on 5 pounds. 6 foot 5, 325, <laughs> that is a fucking huge man. That is a humongous human. Especially being able to move, you know, as effectively as what he does. 26 and a half inches on the vertical jump, that doesn't matter. 8 foot 9, and 8 foot 9 on the broad jump, at that size and that weight, that's, that's quite impressive. And there we go, 35 reps on the bench press. 35 reps, so this is what he's most effective at, right? And that's what effectively they have to do at, with blocking, right? So you can see how the bench press certainly can transfer over to the pancake block. And we're seeing it right here. It's, uh, it's pretty much over from there. I remember being on the sideline the first game of the year. You don't want to get his hands on you. Yeah, really good pass rusher. Uh, he spun in and Quentin just knocked him out. 
Big Q. <laughs> wow. Big Q, right? You can see why when he accelerated before Melvin even made the spin, he had an idea that he was going to. Oh my lord, that is a that is a sick play. He cleaned that up real good, didn't he? A really good pass rusher. He spun in, and Quinn just knocked him out. That is oh, that's perfect. That's that's um that's pretty. I'm gonna say that's pretty. It's not it's not it's not it's not every day that I'll call something that an offensive lineman does as pretty. But that was pretty. That was finesse. That was about as finesse as you can get as a as a as an offensive lineman, in my opinion. Honestly, I don't care where the read is, I kind of just follow 56. <laughs> uh, 95% of the time I'm right. Maybe like once out of 100. Oh, can you imagine the feeling of being a running back? Slightly undersized, running behind that guy? Oh, it'd be like heaven. I follow 56, no one's right. Hey, if this is four down, you might be able to run right behind me on this. Oh, that's so cool. I've always thought, you know, I've always, always wondered, always thought that relationship between the running back and the offensive lineman has got to be one of the, you know, the most closest, one of the most rewarding relationships in the game of football. That is one huge human to be running behind. Even if he failed to contribute to that himself, the player stands out as his uh, player fullback. <laughs> How about this? Quentin Nelson is the fullback. They'll give it to Big Quentin Nelson. It is. No signal yet. Not quite. The touchdown was overturned. The celebration went viral. I'm being told this was a kickstand. <laughs> what the fuck? Woo! Hey, brother. He has all two. Bro, that is amazing. Now, I saw that in the last video, but obviously it's been a while. Completely forgot. But I'm going to say something similar in this video than I did last time. That is the play that I want to see more often. Okay, that's the fridge times two at the line. How he didn't score then, I have no idea. But I'm telling you, if you're one yard out, bring your biggest guy on. It doesn't matter if the other team thinks you're going to do that. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the other team knows what you're going to do. If you've got a guy that big, no one's stopping him. Come on, guys. Get condensed. All right? Get condensed. Don't worry about these wide... You can put a wide receiver out there if you want. But get, get condensed, get all your men in, and drive for that line. Like a big scrum in the game of rugby. That is something That is something I want to see more often in the game of football. Ever since I saw the fridge, I've always thought that. Yeah. Pancake robot. Come and get a mother hot. He is so young, with so much potential. Mr. Pancake Robot, Quentin Nelson. I mean, look at him. Look at this guy. He looks like the Joker mixed with the fridge. I'm not gonna lie. Does he have a nickname? Big Q, Big Q. Let me look. Quentin Nelson nickname. We've got, what do we got? Earl Grey. Because all he did on film was teabag opposing players. <laughs> They're gonna call him Earl Grey. All right, we'll leave it there. Um, with that being said, guys, um, with that being said, in the next one, we've got the third and final video of the day. Richard Sherman. And if there's one thing I know about Richard Sherman, one thing I remember, it's that look of absolute terror, disgust, disbelief at the Seahawks, going for a quick slant over feeding the ball to the beast, Mr. Beast Mode, Marshall Lynch, and going in. You guys know that picture, I know that picture. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what he's up to for the 49ers. That was at the Seahawks. Apparently he's at the 49ers, so let's see. In the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm feeling good. I don't know if you can tell. You know, I, I'm feeling better than I was down in Queenstown, put it that way. So that's, that's good, right? Because I was feeling pretty good down there, but I feel even better up here. Because I'm one step closer to being back with my kids. I'm sick to death of focusing on myself too much. I, you know, I can't do it. I'm a dad. I'm a dad times two. And uh, it's about time for me to be a dad. But before I do, I'm banging out these last minute videos. So, so everyone watching, wherever you are in the world, thank you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. There'll be plenty more videos to come, as per usual. Don't ask me what they are, because even I don't know. But as far as the next 20, or 21, or 22, they're going to be these top 100 players. So, as always, hope you enjoy. I do this for entertainment. 
purposes only. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Peace out.